Now to a First Coast News exclusive. Take a look at this teenager, Taja Bing. He is wanted. You see right there, he is still on the run tonight after escaping from the Jacksonville Youth Academy happened over the weekend. So we know three other teenagers who were with him have been caught. And tonight, an employee of that center is speaking only to First Coast News about the working conditions and the environment inside that detention center. On your side's Robert Bradfield joins us now with this exclusive report. Robert? And we do also want to let you know tonight that the state's Department of Juvenile Justice also investigating this escape and an employee sitting down with us detailing what he says are lapses in protocol protocols and procedures. The Jacksonville Youth Academy at the center of a state investigation after four teenagers managed to escape, staging a fight and stealing an employee's car keys to make their getaway. I can't change the way they do business, but I can change the way I do business. This employee did not want to be identified, but says staff raised concerns over the four teenagers' behavior in the past, asking them to be transferred with no action taken. They put them on this contract, your behavior agreement, and then they violate the agreement. And then that happens. He says the state is choosing to reduce overtime costs over protecting his safety by not staffing the center with the appropriate number of employees to look over all of the teenagers. He wanted to talk to First Coast News in order to get the state's attention. I want to give them an opportunity to fix it. And hopefully this will be a wake up call for them. He says the teens were able to steal the car keys of an employee because they were not properly stored. A lapse in procedures, he says, continues without any consequences. They can do business better, but to a certain extent, they, for whatever reason, they choose not to. I did reach out to follow up with the state about this employee's concerns, but have not heard back tonight. A spokesperson, however, for the Department of Juvenile Justice telling us if any procedures were not followed, action would be taken. Their full statement on firstcoastnews.com. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.